Hi everyone, I'm Nikki, this is Lee, and we just bought a new house. The house was originally built in 1937. Nikki and I fell in love with it at first sight, but it's gonna need a lot of renovations. There's a big garden, the ground floor has lots of light and even has a fireplace. The first floor has two bedrooms, a good sized bathroom that leads out onto a balcony, and at the top of the pointy attic, there's two small bedrooms. So we're gonna see if we can turn this rundown house into a home in time for the arrival of our first baby, which is just five months away. About two years ago, we bought a camper van that was totally empty and we turned it into our dream camper. And we're hoping to do the same here with our house. It needs a lot of work, so let's go inside from beginning to end, we're taking you with us. We're no experts, are we, Nikki? We're total amateurs. Amateurs, so if you've got any advice, let us know, but we're hopefully gonna make it work. This is a thing I found magnet fishing. Apparently it's worth a lot of money and I need it to get the radiators off the wall. So I'm gonna spray it with the WD-40 and hopefully I can get it to work so I can use it to undo the radiators. Because as you can see, I found it in the canal and it's looking very crusty. And then what we're gonna do today is cut the carpet up. I got a Stanley blade for that. And then we're gonna do another trip to the dump. And then hopefully by the end of today, we can finish off all the cleaning. And then I wanna smash out under the staircase. So. A lot of work to do. Bart's coming in two hours in a short amount of time. I've got to get it done. Let's do it. You! Oh, I hope this works. Yeah, it works. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's easy. Brand new blade. You. All right, good job, Nikki. Okay, that works. So, like, they could just pull this one off, then, yeah? Yep. All right. Okay. And pull it off. This might be difficult. Okay. Now you have to put them in. Okay. It makes it really difficult when on the bottom of the carpet. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Nikki's just fallen over. <laughs> One, two, three. Now all the now all the carpet's out and the underlay. We've just got to clean up a bit in here and the other room. And we might even take the carpet out from there as well. And up here. And that way all the carpet's gone. What do you think, Nikki? I think so. Okay, let's, let's get all the carpet. So as you can see, the floor is covered with this lovely red carpet, which we're gonna hopefully take all out today and take it to the dump. There is a lot of it. So it's gonna be a lot of work and because of the thick underlay, it makes it tough, but we can do it. Okay, before we rip the carpet out, let's have a little mama bub update. So we're doing this on a timeline. We're trying to get it ready for the house, ready for this little guy. Yeah, he's growing in there. He's growing. Or she, or she yeah. <laughs> let's have a look. There we go, the little baby bub. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're now like 22 weeks. 22 weeks. So over halfway. Halfway. <laughs> over halfway. We're not even over halfway this, so. No, no oh way. Oh my we're gosh, I'm getting close. nervous. We've got some work to do. Just getting started. Oh my gosh. Okay, less talk, more filming. I mean, less filming, less talking, more doing. <laughs> let's get the carpet out. Alrighty, let's get this carpet out then, Tilps. Oh. Uh-oh, that looks very stuck down. It's coming. Stuck where the stairs is. It's stuck where the stairs is, yeah. And under the door. Hang on. Should we... Open the door? Yeah, maybe we're going to open the door. Oh. oh, there we go. I'll hold the door shut. Okay, I'll give you a hand. It's too much. Yeah, I'll swap maybe, you. Maybe we can open the door. We can't have Nikki stress too much because she's pregnant. But this bit doesn't want to come, huh? Yeah. Let's try and shut the door again. 
Okay, there we go. Back to the action. I think we might need that Stanley blade to cut it. It's getting a bit messy. Where is he? Where's, where's that Stanley blade? He's not up here. Oh yeah, here he is. Oh, <laughs> caught that on camera, Nikki. Okay. I'm just kind of cut it down to make it a bit easier. Easier to handle. There we go. All right. Last part. It's actually stuck down pretty strong. Oh no, it's, it's a coming. Yeah. Yeah. All right. The red carpet is out. Yeah, now let's do the stairs. That was pretty fun, but I think that's a new duck appell there. So it's new carpet or newer carpet. So it's got much more modern insulation here underneath it. We could probably just leave this here. Not too sure what to do here. Oh yeah, it's all stuck down with glue. Okay, yeah. So it's all, it's, look, here you go. It's like a rubber mat insulation, but the rubber, as you can see, is just falling apart, so. So just leave this for now? All right. Because maybe we can leave it? No, I'm gonna take it out. Yeah, it's just gonna come off in one go. All right, let's do the stairs. Well. And then we'll come back and do this. Start from the top to do the carpet. Okay. Well, I think I'm just going to start in this corner here, Nikki. Yeah. We'll start at the top and work our way down. Oh, it's all little pieces. Yeah, well, that was a little piece. That's going to make it difficult, isn't it? It's going to take a while, then. Yeah. This is another classic case of renovations where you think the job's not going to take long, but it takes forever. This red carpet didn't want to come off, and to give you an idea how difficult it is to get off, this video has been sped up 4,000%. <sighs> this is so frustrating. Whoever glued this carpet on a hundred years ago used all the glue in the world because it's not budging. And it's really difficult to get it off, just to find an edge to get it off. You can see this bit, I pulled the carpet up, but I didn't get any of the fabric underneath. So I have to start again, because if I pull this up without that on there, it's gonna be really impossible to get out. Not coming, huh? Oh, you got it, you got it? Yeah. Okay. And yes, that's the full piece. That's what you want, Nikki. Oh my god, it's so strong. Yeah, it's so strong. Got him. Okay, nice one. How long did that take? Oh my god, it took like five minutes at least. And how long do you think it was going to take? <laughs> Oh, that felt really good. We've loaded up the trailer. Yeah. Now we're just going to go upstairs, sweep it up, and take all the light little bits that are rotten on the floor and put them in the bags and then take them to the dump too. And that's going to be awesome. We're going to get all this stuff off the floor here, all this stuff. It's really satisfying to uh, get rid of all your <laughs> language. <laughs> So now Nikki and I want to give this room a really good clean. You can see there's dust clouds everywhere and then we're going to take it all to the dump. Oh, this room's coming along really nice. It feels so good to give it a sweep and get rid of all of the cobwebs and things like that. You can see it now, look over this side. It looks so much cleaner there. And then you compare it with this side. Have a look at all this dust and cobwebs and stuff. And all this stuff down here. All this furry stuff, going to get it all out. It actually 
it smells like an old house in here, old and dusty. So when we first bought it and walked in, I was like, grandma's house. <laughs> Putting a smile on my face with every cobweb that's coming down. We're not too far to go. And once again, we find ourselves back at the dump with another big load to empty. These dumps are really great because it doesn't all go to waste. There's sections for each different type of material so that it all gets recycled. But it's a big job to take it here every time. But the best part about it, it's free. Almost ready. Almost. Almost finished. Almost finished. Another load at the dump. Again, that never sounds right, does it? <laughs> and that bin's looking pretty full too. Each section of the rubbish, it's free to take it here, but you have to divide all of your rubbish together. So we had to do the wood, the rubbish, and the gyp rock, or the drywall as they call it, or over here, the hips plats, all separate, but it's really good. So there Leah, we go. how do you feel? <laughs> well, I think we just made it because the rain just started pouring down as we emptied the last bit of chip rocks out, but I always get very happy when we uh, take a big load to the dump. <laughs> <laughs> Back from the dump. Yeah, so now we're going to tidy everything up. It's very dusty and uh, if we do all the, take all the dusty things away and then we can maybe do the floorboards. Oh yeah, these things down here. These last parts and then I think Downstairs, we are, uh, you know, making good progress. Yeah, so I think if we can uh, sweep down here and then vacuum, then take these things off, that means we've done upstairs. Yeah. And then downstairs. Oh my gosh, we are getting through this. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay, time to tidy up. I don't know if it's going to capture it on film, but we've just swept the floor and it is so dusty. It's crazy in here. So we're just going to let that settle and we're going to go outside and have a little drink. It's looking much better. We filled up a whole bag. This thing weighs a ton. I can't even lift it. That's all the rubble that's on the floor. Let's go. Let's go outside with a drink. Ooh, dusty. Careful here, this thing's slippery. There's anything. Oh, that's where I put the firewood. I might move that, huh? Okay, nice. Nice. We get a break. It's nice that there's always Oh, a, there's something in my drink. Get him out. Sorry. It's all right. It's nice there's always a dry space to sit. Yeah, nice little shelter out here. We'll be sitting out here many a time, I think. Oh, I think so. On a rainy day. <sighs> I'm pretty happy with today. Oh, we've got screw boy. See what she just pulled out of her pocket? Wow. <laughs> Dutch you. treat, a stroop waffle. And we're gonna do some vacuuming later. I'll give you guys one guess on how you say vacuum cleaner in Dutch. <laughs> You're never gonna get it. This is a stroop? Stroop waffle. Stroop waffle and a vacuum cleaner is a stofsauker. Stofsauker. <laughs> <laughs> So we'll be doing some stock saukering later. Stoff. Stoff. Stoff sauker. Stoff sauker. Means dust sucker. Dust sucker. <laughs> Alright, so if you want to call someone a sucker in Dutch, you say sauker. Yeah? No. No? Okay. Just <laughs> <laughs> trying to put two and two together. And now we're up for another fireplace challenge. <laughs> now we're up for another fireplace challenge with Nikki. Yes. Five minutes to smash the mini fireplace down. Well, I'm going to do this little piece. Yeah, just do that little piece. You get five minutes, all right? This looks still a little bit dodgy. Yeah, that is very dodgy. So we don't want to touch that because I don't know who put that up with that tiny thin stick, but it is super dodgy. All right, so 
Go lightly, Nikki. Oh, gone. 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 Nikki's gonna be finished this in five minutes for sure. Like a hot knife through butter. Go, Nikki. I'm just a bit afraid that people watching might think I'm putting Nikki to work while I'm not doing anything but film. <laughs> That brick fireplace didn't stand a chance against Super Mum Nikki. My advice is when you see Nikki down a dark alley holding a sledgehammer is you run the other way. Okay, that looks much better. Yeah, Nikki did that in five minutes. I was just cleaning up. <laughs> yeah, fireplace is gone. Yeah. And I think we have to do this one now as well. Well, well we don't want to do that now because it's a little bit scary with that stick holding up the entire fireplace. Yeah. So I'll wait to see Hanny, who's our uh, building What's it called again? Project manager. Project manager. Advisor. Advisor. Everything. <laughs> Guy who knows what he's doing. Maybe he knows what to do with this. Yeah, because I'm a bit scared of it. It's very scary. I just don't want it to fall down on top of the house. That would be a nightmare. Yeah. It'd be good for the, uh, <laughs> good for the viewers, but not for us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now that we did the fireplace, we are gonna continue on the floor. Gonna take these floorboards off. It's gonna come up easy. Alright. Looks pretty good. Yeah, it's coming up pretty well there. Yeah. Put your glasses on. Nailed in. There's a million nails in there. Yeah. I think this whole house had a discount of nails when they were building it. Yeah. Almost there. Yeah. All right. All right. First, First one done. Huh. Okay. First one done. A million more to go. <laughs> yeah. Better be good when we get all these off. That'll be like the floorboards underneath. You can see they look pretty good. Yeah. And uh, it's right. gonna be great. Change the house. Time for a time lapse. <sighs> I don't know if you can see the dust on the camera, but let's get out of here. <laughs> it's so dusty. Yeah. It's so good. dusty. Let's get out. But the floor is looking good. Yeah. That is great. Look at all these piles out. That's actually, that's actually pretty fast, isn't it, Nikki? Come on, let's go outside for a minute. Yeah, it's going pretty fast. Got like 10,000 nails in them. Yeah, 10,000 nails in each one. So, uh... Let's get some fresh air outside. Whew. Every time you lift those things up, just the amount of dust that comes up. Yeah. I thought maybe we should have vacuumed it before we did it. We should have vacuumed it before we did it. Anyway, it's coming up faster. Faster than the carpet upstairs, that's for sure. So <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty, pretty happy with that. This could have been a nightmare result. And I'm actually really, really excited to see underneath the floorboards all nice and clean. It was one of the first things yeah. when we bought this house. I said, this room is gonna look awesome <laughs> when we get the floorboards. Yeah. But we first we had to go through the tiles. <laughs> yeah. And then the uh, other bits and we're almost there. Whew. <sighs> Let's sit down for a minute. Let's sit down for a minute. Oh, sorry, another bit of timber. After another quick break, it's back at it, trying to rip these floorboards off the floor. They have thousands of nails in them, so it's not easy. Woo! Oh, hot. You must be hot under that. You must be hot under the overalls. We've done all of this over here. All of that. So basically the whole living room just this corner over here, Nikki. This corner over here, and then the rest of the room. And then the rest, but yeah, so not long. Just got that much area to go. 
because there's none under this end section. So that's really good. I'm really happy with that. It's coming up so good. <sighs> Nikki's out of breath. Yeah. I am too. Oh my gosh, you must be hot under that thing. I am. <laughs> oh, so hot. Yeah, but we're getting it done fast. Have a look at that right there. I've just found it behind the, the sideboards here. We've got another coin. It is a Dutch one cent. 19, can't quite make the date because there's a crusty bit on there. Oh, the other side looks really nice. Look at that. It's almost golden. Woo! All right, we're getting some treasure. Last little part, last push, Tilts, we can do it. Yes, let's go. Let's go. Okay, two more to go. Two more to go. One, two. So it looks like the wood here is rotten. See? Oh yeah, that's rotten. Yeah. No, that's definitely rotten. So that's not good. Not good, okay. Yeah, this must have been leaking or something, but you can see it's been down there for a while. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, that's, uh, that's a bit of a bummer. They'll have to be replaced. Yeah. I'm just dripping in sweat. I don't know if you can see my shirt. Just dripping in sweat. The final piece, Nikki. Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh. All right. We are knackered. That's it for the day. What an awesome day. We smashed it. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you soon. Oh, we're having a David rest. <laughs> so in a couple of days. Yep.